you guys welcome back. Loki is like pushing at me because I'd read this article after I posted the last video and he's like, you really, really, really have to talk about this. We don't talk much about gay issues on this channel only because, you know, um, when you're a gay person, you get so used to the world being heteronormative that you just don't bring it up. You figure you just got to deal with these things and whatever. Anyhow, there's an article I read years ago, and I just came up against it because I was looking for that Dionysus article, and I found this one again. And basically, the person talks about how a lot of gay people end up leaving Wicca because a lot of it is presented as heteronormative. Um, one of my blessings of being an old draft horse is that I went through the time when to discredit paganism and to discredit the Greek gods, they happily told us about all the homosexual relationships they had to discredit them. So I'm fairly well versed <laughs> in that department. And now today's, since a lot of people are starting to work with these gods, it's kind of getting, you know, straight wash, so to speak. And you're seeing a lot of these, you know, great romantic love stories between two men or two women or a man and a god or a woman and a goddess get washed out over history, which is not cool. And, of course, Loki was in the article because, and this is going to ruffle some feathers, there are some paths that believe that there is good um, proof that he has a relationship with Thor, and I've heard other people say he has a relationship with Odin. And these have been Odin's men and women, by the way, that revealed this. Not, you know, Lokians, you know, trunk out of her mind. You know what I bet? So no, it was like followers of Odin that got this information. And the thing is, it's not like it's centuries past for a lot of them. These um, relationships are still going on and vital. And it was interesting because, you know, of course, they're still forming new relationships. And um, when Loki invites gods in, to be frank, you know, it can be a god that he's involved with on some level. And I'm like, I really don't care as long as, you know, they're both happy. I, I say, if you're in a relationship with another god, one, that's your business. And I said, you know, two, I'm going to give you both the same warning. If one of you hurts the other one, I'm killing you. I'm going to find a way to kill a god, and then I'm killing you. And they'll both smile, and that'll be the end of that. And it's... It's something we should respect because a lot I've seen a lot of people this happen a ton in Voodoo and this is happening in witchcraft and that now that gods are saying I'm in a relationship with this god or goddess to someone and I want them on my altar. This is my lover, my spouse, my whatever. And the person does it and I'm spitting in the microphone, that's nice. And the uh person puts it up then on Tumblr, Twitter, or whatever. And everybody's hating on them because how dare you and you're disgusting and everything else. And I'm like, you know what? Follow your gods. If they tell you they're in a romantic relationship with someone, they're in a romantic relationship. Or if they just want someone on their altar for whatever reason, that's fine. Um, La Santa is a good example. She's supposed to be terrible at sharing altars. She really doesn't care. And it's not always a romantic relationship. Sometimes they just like someone and they want a companion. And it's just, it's really good. And it was a reminder that if you are gay or asexual or, you know, whatever flavor of the rainbow you are, to do your research. Because a lot of the stories were, you know, taken away. And you can find a god or goddess that you can relate to. Hokey's like, I relate to everyone. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, yes, you do, precious. <laughs> So Loki, you know, relates to everyone because, you know, he's shape-shifting and gender-shifting. And with Dionysus, um, Dionysus, according to some, was, you know, raised as a girl to escape the wrath of Hera. Now, we know now that, you know, Hera's job was to come and push people along. It's not Hera's, Hera's psychic, not psychic, psychotic and vengeful. It's Hera's sacred duty to push people along. That's why as the stories kept getting retold, she was seen in less and less favorable light. But it's it's good to remember that they can have these relationships, and frankly, these relationships are up to them, which is why if someone says they have a relationship with a god, 
They have a relationship with that God. And it's not... It's not anything shameful because I remember there were times when I, you know, was a member of the gay community, I would have guys come up and say, well, so-and-so wants a relationship. And I'm like, well, the God should know. The God should know. There are a lot of people going around being, um, practicing bicca and bitchcraft and telling people that this God can't personally be interested in other people or they can't be interested in men that way or women that way or whatever. Don't listen to them. If you're having a genuine experience, you're having a genuine experience, and you will know it. Um, there's not any plague of strange demons going around screwing with people just to get, you know, shits and giggles. And there are a lot of people that are using that as an excuse now to discredit people that don't practice the way they do, and I, I think that really sucks. But Loki's like, you have to talk about this. You have to. You're gay. Why isn't there more gay stuff on this channel? Because it just never comes up, and then when it does, all of the people that are crazily straight start static. He's like, good, let him start static. <laughs> I'm queer as a $3 bill. <laughs> yeah, he's very queer, so is pants, so are most of our gods, which is awesome. It doesn't mean that they don't love or can't relate to straight people, but it's comforting as a gay person, you know, I'm pansexual and gender fluid, to know these gods understand me because I was raised to be straight so I know what I should act like I know what I should feel I know what I should be doing but that was never me um my greatest hero growing up was Elban from Lacage so there you go so, <laughs> so if you guys like what you see you know like comment and subscribe and that is something important to talk about because you're starting to see people um trying to change the gods stories to suit them. There's nothing wrong with liking a god. Like, say you're straight and you like a gay god. Big frickin' deal. But there is something wrong with saying these stories never happen because they make me unquestion uncomfortable. Um, If you're questioning your own sexuality, that's something great to sit down and talk to the gods with. If you don't like gay, this probably isn't the channel for you either, sweetie. So... <laughs> Look, he's back here like, ooh, stuffy, meow. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.